If you want to find out if Hero Plus is worth playing in 2021, stay tuned until the end and you will know the goods and the bads of this game. Hello gamers and welcome to another episode where I discuss if a game is worth your time or not. Today I will cover Hero Plus, former Hero Online, a game that was dear to me in my childhood and even now brings back some memories. Feel free to give me any feedback regards of the game if you think otherwise and overall on the video if you have something to add. All of that being said, let's begin the journey and if you enjoyed, remember to feed the algorithm beast with a like to support the channel. So let's start like always with the classes. The game has a different style of classes than other MMORPGs. Here the skills are more based on the weapon you use and put points into its abilities. Each character has two sets of weapon skills that they can use and you earn ability points from grinding mobs and doing quests like when you get XP for leveling up. It is nice to see that some games don't follow the usual pattern and you will get a lot of points because the game is really grind focused. If we want to discuss the character customization, you pretty much can't because you have only some different hairstyles, some really ugly and deformed faces and some hate adjustments. So that will wrap it up the character customization. Let's check the gameplay mechanics. Like I said before, the game is really focused on grinding, pretty much like most old MMORPGs, but it was a good throwback in time for me and I really enjoyed it. It is cool that the monsters attack you automatically and you don't have to go and run after them. You can just sit in a place where they will respawn and kill them one after another. The game has tapped targeted combat and is focused mainly on AoE skills when leveling up. You will feel like a badass when a lot of monsters will group up to you and you will blast them away with your abilities. Also, you move by clicking around, but that never felt boring and I got really immersed, especially after level 10, when you will get your ninja running ability. Hero Plus has mounted combat. This is a feature that you don't see in many games, even nowadays. It's a shame that you can't use skills when riding your pet, so if you want to play like this, you have to follow a special build that is focused on strength and dexterity, also on auto attacks. This brings us to the next topic, ability points. You will get points per leveling up and you will put them into strength, dexterity and intellect. Strength gives you HP and damage as well as accuracy. Dexterity will boost your dodge and defense. Lastly, intellect will raise your ability damage and defense as well as chi, the resource that is used for skills. From what builds I read and tried, the most popular one is strength intellect and even some with full intellect. The game is really skilled focused and you need high ability damage output. The game felt pretty hard, at least until you have some decent gear. Be prepared to smash the keyboard because you will be spamming the potions like a madman together with the skills, but overall it was always satisfying to beat all those grouped masters. Story The story of the game is presented in main quest, but is nothing serious and I doubt that there is even a player that followed it, like in most MMORPGs. And I will say it again, if you want story, go play something single player that is focused on that or go get drunk and you will make your own story after that. Ok, before we continue, let's see the question of the day. Do you like beer or vodka more? Comment below and let's debate. Also, what kind of build did you follow if you played Hero Online? Let's see how the questing is presented. Like in the one where we talked about the story, there is nothing out of common. You have your typical kill the mobs, take their weapons, liver or credit cards and go back to the NPC. You have a few pick X amount of things missions in this game and some unusual ones that are pretty rare like one particularly that I had to solve a statue puzzle by introducing some books into them and when I put the right one into it, it made a validation sound. The missions are mostly taken from the main city where all the players meet and then you go through a portal to the quest location. Beside that, I like the pacing in grindy MMORPGs where I can do some quests for some good experience when I'm bored of killing mobs or the other way around where I can kill junk if I need some more XP to level up and have no quests left for that level. The overall atmosphere of the game Well, in terms of graphics, the game is what you can expect from old MMORPGs. It is better. What is a plus though is that the game has many zones, so a lot of different environments. I saw a lot of different maps on the portal and the max level I think is 250. So a lot to explore till you reach it. The atmosphere is like something similar of a war, because monsters will always be attacking you 
so you have to keep your guard up like Logan Paul in the upcoming match against Mayweather. I also think this video will come after that, but it is what it is. The monsters felt pretty different too, beside the basic animals that you will find in any game. I saw a lot of unique monsters and all maps have mini bosses and later bosses. One aspect of the game that really got me surprised is that the population was pretty high for a game this old. I saw a lot of players in the main city and even in my journey when leveling up. The game felt pretty alive and the community was really friendly. One high level player randomly gave me 50 million gold and told me to enjoy. Another player, after I asked him some questions about the game, added me to a guild and gifted me some materials for upgrading and stuff like that. Also, a fat phoenix pet that helped me greatly in my journey being a DPS pet with an AOA skill. Let's talk about the gear. The items of the game are having an Asian influence. They look cool and they shine differently when they are upgraded to plus something. Hero Plus offers you the same gift that I hate in most games, the one that gives you really strong gear, but here, surprisingly, because the mobs of this game really know how to pack a punch, I never felt overpower and I really died a lot even with those items. Well, you mostly fight creatures higher levels than you, but again, I never felt overpower and the game was not easy by no mean, so that's why I ignored the pack where I don't use the items from those kind of gift boxes. One more thing that I can say about the game is that it felt optimized and I had no problems whatsoever in my entire adventure. What you can do in the end game? Well, the end game is basically more grind to upgrade your abilities, farming your gear and mostly PvP. Okay, thank you for keeping up with me until the end. We have one more section to cover, the pros and cons, but before we do that, support the channel with a like because the Algorand Beast is hungry for them. If you like the content and if you want to follow me into my next adventures, join the legacy by using the subscribe spell. Also, if you want to check more games that I already covered, check my channel. For further support, use Patreon. And remember, I try games, so you don't have to waste your time. Okay, so let's check the pros and cons. What I liked about the game is that it felt alive, with a somewhat decent player base for an old MMORPG and truly friendly. You also have a lot of skills and you gain ability points by killing monsters. Many different environment and monster designs. What I disliked about the game is that it felt a little bit unfair sometimes in terms of enemy damage. The game has really poor questing. This one depends on the person but it can be really grindy at times, especially on endgame. Overall, I had a blast with the game and a nostalgia trip. I was not able to start editing the video for it because I wanted to play it a little bit more and I will play even after this. I would recommend this to my viewers if you like more grindy games, especially that you can find a community of players that is dedicated to Hero Plus. Irene approves. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Have a grindy day with plenty of good drops.